So someone was not empathetic towards you. Someone didn't give you some flowers, um, a spider. Someone may have been trying to catch you up in a web. And now they're trying to do the limbo and get around something that they said. Notebook is um, here. So there may be some sort of documentation <clears throat> regarding something. Someone's trying to duck around it. Um, someone didn't want to see you celebrating. A karmic energy didn't want to see you celebrating. Um, window shade, they try to throw shade your way. <laughs> um, they can't come towards you. They tried to stop you from moving forward. And they tried to trap you up in something. Birdcage was the second word on there. <clears throat> and tying the knot. So someone tried to stop you from tying the knot and getting trapped up in something. <clears throat> someone caught something or tried to get you to catch something. Um, ink. Somebody did something regarding writing something or some sort of message. There's some sort of documentation that somebody did. And it was done to milk your finances. Man, you're the upright feminine energy so far. And there's this parrot that um, in bookmark came out and frowning. So yeah, someone is sad about some sort of documentation or something that they came across. Um, this is the bus, but someone um, waking up is in the reverse. So someone may have tried to stop you from waking up. That would be horrible. All right, that's an odd start to things, but let's get in here and see what else comes out. Ace of Wands, you have a big gift coming to you. It could be something that you hold dear or that you've been waiting for. And someone is in despair about this. Someone didn't want you to receive this gift, whatever it is. And, <laughs> you know... I gotta say it, um, since the marriage thing came out, or someone trying to stab you from tying the knot, you know, um, sometimes I've heard some readers say, every time they I see this card, um, <laughs> a reader once called it, said big dick energy, every time they see, you know, they pull this card, they mention a big dick energy, and I'm, I'm sorry, but now every time I see that card, so someone could be in despair that you're um, getting a big dick, I don't, or, um, getting something from, uh, you know, a masculine figure, um, you know, there's a lot of conflict going on, so you may be fighting a lot of battles at this time, um, the Wheel of Fortune is turning for a Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands in the upright is a leader, um, very empathetic, caring, <coughs> passionate about what they do, protective, What did I say? <laughs> the big wand energy and um, two of cups. So there, you could have a big wand um, coming into union with you. So woo -woo. they're coming towards you with an offer. So, um, ding, congratulations. <laughs> I'm happy for whoever this lucky lady is. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, this karmic energy wanted to stop you from your getting um, your happiness, from getting your ten of cups. Someone, this, there's a karmic energy who didn't want to see you come together with your two of cups. Someone could be bringing you an offer on um, about a house, so you could be receiving an offer, making an offer. Um, this <laughs> uh, masculine energy could be um, wanting you to move in with them. Um, this, they made a decision about you. And there's your king of pentacles there's your um there's your masculine energy so not only does he have a big one ladies he's got some money too not that that's like the most important thing but it doesn't hurt right <laughs> um someone um tried to take your gifts and talents or didn't want you to be seen as gift or gifted or talented and balance has to be restored in a situation <laughs> For balance to be restored, something has to come to an end. Ten of Swords. There has to be a permanent ending for something for balance to be restored. <clears throat> because you're going to get information. There's a Page of Wands here. The last three cards that I pulled was um, the Page of Wands, the Heartbreak, and then um, Lies, Gossip, Rumors, Talk. So you're going to be getting some information about someone that wanted to cause you heartbreak by spreading lies about you. Or 
you know, um, communicating something with people to prevent you from getting something. <clears throat> wow. Somebody could have done something in the springtime to do this. Somebody, so somebody could have been actively um, trying to cause you heartbreak this past spring, because that's in the reverse. And somebody got caught in the crossfire. So somebody, somebody innocent got caught in the crossfire. They wanted to rip you off. So like I said, somebody wanted to stop you from getting something. A Gemini could be involved. And... They wanted you to be fit, fit to be tied, so they could have, a Gemini may have tried to get you arrested or something, or a Gemini could have been arrested. <clears throat> Hopefully there wasn't a Gemini tied up in the basement somewhere, but, <laughs> you know. Um, someone is crying or ever, someone is upset right now because they get, couldn't get you trapped up in something. Hopefully because they couldn't lock you up in their basement. I don't, I don't know why that's coming out. Pisces just came out. What up, Pisces? Oh, man. Hopefully, Gemini's not trying to tie up a Pisces somewhere. That's nuts, but, you know. Someone wanted you stuck between a rock and a hard place. Man. All's fair in love and war. So, I'm getting the feeling that this masculine energy... Um, whatever they found out last night, I just had the overwhelming feeling of someone being in despair. And I feel like there's, there was a masculine energy that found out something and it just had them in despair. That's the energy. I just felt it so strongly last night. Someone was not a big man on campus and that, that's, um, this karmic energy, whoever this karmic is. <clears throat> someone is going for broke or you could be broke at this time. And maybe um, somebody um, didn't want you to, um, they, maybe this karmic energy wanted you broke so this masculine energy wouldn't come towards you. Chip off the old block so someone in your family could be involved in this. They were pain in the neck, pain in the butt. Um, so the chip off the old block, it could be a parental figure. <clears throat> They wanted you to be afraid of your own shadow, but they're afraid of their own shadow. Whatever they did has them really paranoid. It's the blind leading the blind. You had someone behind the scenes that was ring leading this group of conflict that you're going through. Someone wanted to stop your ability to make finances. They didn't want you to be seen as abundant. Um, they didn't want you to be seen as a hard worker. They didn't want you to be able to manifest finances. Yeah, someone caused a lot of conflict when it came to your um, Ten of Pentacles. You may have lost Ten of Pentacles. You may have lost a, mo a lot of money because of this karmic energy. That's the Five of Wands in reverse. Someone caused a lot of conflict in your workplace, and it affected your money, your Ten of Pentacles, so you could have lost a significant amount of money due to conflict, due to black magic, the lies, the gossip, the rumors, the slander. So whatever this karmic energy was doing behind the scenes, that affected your money in a significant way. Ace of Swords. So someone didn't know the truth. Um, and Ace of Swords. So I'm, I'm getting the energy that this is someone that was higher up. Um, someone was really blinded by the truth. They were not awakened. They didn't have all the information regarding a situation because people were working really hard to stop, stop the information from coming out. And the Page of Swords in reverse. So there was definitely an immature, uneducated person behind the scenes working to keep people blind from knowing the truth about a situation but you have protection you have your guard up your ancestors are watching over you um uh, most of the time i look at this as you you know you have your guard up where you could be having a decision to make some people look at that as a decision that's going to be ne needing to be made the two of swords <clears throat> so 
someone maybe needing to make a decision but doesn't have all the information but this person is seeing how gifted and talented you are and they may want to come work with you so this masculine king of pentacles may want to go into business with you someone celebrated too early someone celebrated too soon when they thought they had you down and out because that's not what the collective does we if you're in the upright eventually things will work out at some point and it doesn't always happen as fast as we want it to but you know i read the energy of the cards and for some of you <clears throat> you're gonna have swift justice coming and some of you have been waiting for years somebody sell this immature energy celebrated too soon when they thought that they'd won based on their lies because the lies are coming out <clears throat> this karmic energy doesn't get to go on to <clears throat> move on to calmer waters they're um they're going to be left out in the cold i have a feeling that this person may have lost their job okay um i'm gonna grab my pink Floyd cards I haven't used those for a while. I feel like something's trying to come out. Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so there was someone who was not divine. This is almost like the star in reverse. This person, this karmic energy was evil, sadistic. They did anything they could to win at all costs. So this person really wanted to damage your finances in some way. There's a broken cycle. Someone's going to, you're in a new cycle. So whatever cycle you were in before is broken. And this is someone diving in the reverse. Um, if you look at that, the woman's diving into the water, and that came out in the reverse. So this um, karmic energy dove into something head first. They were really dedicated to it. Um, they, they really wanted you to be stuck and stagnant. But there's a group of people. You have friends. You know, I've got friends in low places. Someone didn't expect you to have help. Someone really didn't know that... Um, you know, maybe you keep your personal life quiet and this person didn't think you had anybody, but you have a group of people, a small group maybe, of friends. <clears throat> this this um, person who was evil and sadistic, this is coming up as a masculine energy. I read the red triangle as the masculine energy. <clears throat> Someone was trying to keep the, the water blurry, <clears throat> or a Pisces could be involved, or a water sign could be involved, um, but someone was trying to keep the, the water blurry so people couldn't see through it, so they couldn't see clearly. And that is because someone wants to come in union with you. I look at this almost like the two of cups. There's two, two balls on top of each other. So someone really did the most emasculine energy, um, interfered with your life, your finances. They didn't want you to end up with some, what the hell? There's a masculine energy that interfered with your life so that you couldn't move forward with anyone else. What? <laughs> oh, I guess they're jealous of the big wand. I mean, what can I say? <clears throat> And this is your true twin. This, these two are white. And I look at these as like twin flame kind of things. Um, there's another one in here where there, there's two other ones and they're darker. And I look at that as like the false twin flame. But these two are white. So you're going to be coming into union with your true twin flame or your true divine counterpart. And this masculine energy did not want that to happen. They were really jealous. They did something. Yeah, this is like work. This is work related. This is looks like a factory and it's like in the reverse. So someone did something at at work. They could have made you lose your job. Oh my goodness. So there's a masculine energy that did something to affect your job. <clears throat> you could do something involving music or you could be gifted or artistic or talented. And this came out sideways. There's a lot of musical, old school musical instruments 
It reminds me of like that steampunk thing. Um, could also be a old style telephone. So you could be getting some communication from somebody about your gifts and talents. You could be getting an, a business offer. Someone made a bad business deal with a female. This is um, two men shaking hands on a woman's back. So there's a female involved <clears throat> and one of them is on fire. So someone made a bad business deal and there could be um, at least two people watching you, but someone is is got their eyes on you. Ooh, snap. <laughs> the person who thought they were burning the other person got burned. These, this, these came out in the reverse. I know it's kind of hard to see, but the smaller man has a little flame going and they got burnt by the bigger flame. So there is a masculine energy who um, made a business deal with a female and thought they were getting burnt, but they got they they got burnt bad. Um, so if this masculine energy did something to affect you, they lost their job. They oh man, it came back. It's already hitting them. Their karma is already starting to come back, and they didn't ex expect that to happen. <clears throat> That's crazy. This group or whoever's been working together to um, interfere with your finances and love life, something is going to be happening as quick as lightning to divide and conquer this little group setup that's going on. Did not expect that. I guess that's confirmation. Their their little um, reign of terror is over. They could have done something within the last 24 hours to affect something in your life, but someone is reading between the lines, so someone sees the truth. Somebody did something within the last 24 hours, and um, someone is seeing the truth about this group, or <clears throat> I feel like it's at least three or, you know, three or more people. Something significant about November, and the months that come out could be dates of birthdays or a significant event. Okay, so November could mean a Scorpio was involved. <clears throat> yep, someone's getting a wake-up call. Someone sees the truth about what somebody did or what these this group tried to do. Um, or something significant could have happened on a Thursday back in November. In the winter time, someone's going to be getting a blast from the past. So someone from your past is going to be making a reappearance. And whatever situation this is, it's going to happen in the nick, in the nick of time for you. But someone could be as slippery as an eel. So if someone comes back to you in the winter time, um, they might not have the best intentions towards you. They may just be coming to you with lies to get them out of trouble. Because karma's a bitch. So if someone comes back to you in the winter time, be careful of them and be careful of their intentions because karma's bitch came out and someone's facing karma for something. And <clears throat> if you try to help someone escape their karma, you take on that karma just as well. This is someone that you're not with. Flew the fly the coop came out in the reverse. Three strikes you're out in wild goose chase. So you may have left this person because they may have cheated on you or did something one too many times and um, you knew that the relationship was a wild goose chase. You knew it wasn't going anywhere and oh my gosh, okay. And this person could be getting arrested. That could be why they're coming to you. They were not smart. Wisdom of the Ages came out in reverse. So this person did something and it, and they did something bad that could get them arrested, something illegal. And they did it one too many times. Three strikes, you're out, came out. Yeah, someone was a broken record. They did something over over and over and they finally got caught. But this person is going to come to you and want you to forgive and forget them because they're hitting the panic button. So yeah, we've we've established that. If someone comes back to you in the winter time, especially if it's an ex that you're not with anymore, it's because they need your help getting out of a situation because they're in big trouble. Yep, and this is a masculine energy, so this was a tyrant, emperor in reverse, so there's going to be um, a masculine energy, and take it how it resonates, flip the rules as needed, um, but 
there is um, a masculine energy in the reverse that could be coming back towards you in the winter time. Someone who is a karmic, who is maybe your false twin flame, and that could be why they were trying to stop you from getting with your true twin flame, because they usually come before your true one. If you have one, not everyone has one, but I mean, it could just be, you know, your whoever, I mean, it doesn't have to be a twin flame, but it could still be someone that you were in a relationship with. So the queen of, <clears throat> the queen of cups came out, so let's see what's going on with that. So someone sees you as their queen of cups and someone the knight of wands in reverse rushed in this this emperor rushed in really hastily to do something immature and they were like scrambling and panicking her they did something too quickly and they did it um very sloppily <clears throat> but someone did something really stupid to try to affect your affect you from making money and coming into union with somebody but you're in a new cycle, and this person, this emperor, cannot affect you. Um, this emperor could be going to jail. You're being set free in your new cycle. So this emperor wanted to keep you bound and stuck, but you're being set free from the situation. <clears throat> Someone is going to be empathetic, caring. Um, somebody may have a crush on you. Someone may admire you. Um... Someone may be trying to come and tell you that they're sorry about something, but it's just, it, if this emperor shows up to tell you they're sorry, it's just to get them out of trouble so they don't go to jail. It's over with this person. You're in a new cycle, so whatever relationship you had with this tyrant, this emperor in reverse, um, it's over for them. Or they could be in bad health, ready to pass away. That's come out a few times. If they're an older person, it doesn't apply for everybody, but for some. What did I just say? Okay. So, this emperor in reverse was trying to keep something hidden, and it could be that they're getting ready to pass, or that they, um, they're sick, um, or they have some sort of illness. And they told lies. They made a decision in reverse to fight against you with lies and slander. And you know, this could be their spiritual karma coming back on them. But this person made a decision to fight against you with lies. And, oh man, this man was a tyrant. He really was. He was trying to control your life. Balance has to be restored in this situation. And earlier, balance came out. Temperance came out. And then... Um, you know, Ten of Swords came out, so for something to be balanced out, something has to be ended permanently. Um, someone is taking a moment to pause and reflect about something, and you are um, the divine being. You have spiritual gifts, so you don't do things hastily. You think things through. You could be waiting for a sign from, you know, your, your spiritual guides, your ancestors, um, or the divine, you know, spirit. Um, so you could be um, in the hangman energy just kind of waiting for direction from, you know, the most high on which way to go. And someone came under judgment. So if someone thinks that maybe you're just stuck and stagnant and just sitting there not doing anything, it's not that you're not doing anything. You could still be working really hard. It's just that you're waiting on further direction. Um, you're divinely guided and protected. So you're in the upright. <laughs> <laughs> this emperor in reverse is under judgment for trying to take your wand, okay? Um, and that could be anything. I mean, it could be, you know, the the lover. It could be anything that was important to you. But somebody took something that was important and had no business interfering with you. But they did it anyway. So, all right, let's get some closing messages here. make this shit up someone's got a big weenie coming to them i cannot make this shit up oh man congratulations on whoever this is for <laughs> 
that's a time you all had something bad. <laughs> that may not have been your experience in the past, so congratulations. Mm. Oh, someone wanted you to feel like you weren't good enough or make it look like you weren't good enough so that they, they wanted to put you in this victim mentality so this big weenie wouldn't come near you. <laughs> <clears throat> and now they're being haunted by bad fish. So yeah, they got burnt by a bad business deal. Um, they got involved, this masculine energy got themselves um, tangled up with some bad fish, so some female energy. And they're, they got burnt worse than they expected. They didn't think it would come back on them, but they really didn't expect it to come back. But, you know, you do your return to senders, you know, times 10. That's, you know, if you don't like someone, move on. Don't, don't do shady shit to people. Someone was an Indian giver. Someone made an offer and then took it back. So someone is haunted. So you could have been in a relationship with this masculine or you could have been married to this masculine and they took their offer back so you may be divorced darling i want to destroy you and ever since you left this person they have made it their like life's mission to destroy you and make sure that you can't move forward but you have hope in a situation and now this person this masculine energy is calling for help and <laughs> shame on you for trying to stop the collector from getting their big weenie you're a dick <laughs> oh wait, no you're not. <clears throat> this karmic energy is wondering what happened. Um, I've been everywhere in the reverse. They said that you slept around, but this was the one who got them tang themselves tangled up with bad fish. Um, and you will not bow. This person wanted you to bow and submit to them, but my friends, we bow to no one. Yeah. And people are talking about this. People are talking about your courage and um, your unwillingness to submit to people who <laughs> try to force you into something that you're not wanting to do. Larger than life in the reverse. <clears throat> this person was not larger than life. This person was a false leader. They had nothing but bad intentions for you. All right, I'll see if um, anything comes out of my little words here and then we'll close this out. So gradually, <clears throat> gradually someone is getting the information they need um, to make make a decision regarding this. Um, like I said earlier, someone um, was, they didn't have all the information, but slowly, but surely, um, the thing is, is they're going to get the information. Thing is, came out, and now they're, they're figuring it out. And it has this person in despair. I really felt that energy really strongly last night. Someone found out something last night that had them in despair. Someone's going to be waving the flag. Someone has to submit and let, and it's not going to be you collective. Let's not get crazy here. We, we already established you will not bow. You will not submit. But this karmic energy has to give it up. They can't, they, they can't keep interfering with your life. Someone's waving the flag. <clears throat> You are an ethical person. You do things the right way. And there's someone that took the time to look into something. And what they found out really had them shocked. They were not expecting the information that they came across. He who ceases. This, this masculine energy is going to be stopped from doing anything else to you. Um, there's someone who's ethical and a higher authority. Someone who is in position to do something about it. And they're going to, okay? I hope this helps, folks. Have a nice day.